Today I'm going to explain you how spline parameter works in geometry nodes. Something really important to have more control when we work with curve in geometry node. So let's close this, let's create a new profile, and let's delete the cube, and let's create shift A, a curve line, a simple line. Perfect. Let's connect it here. We have a curve line with two points. The star is the bottom and is the top. Perfect. Let's convert this to a mesh. So Curve to mesh. Easy, right? Let's give a profile to have a shape. Let's put, for example, something like curve circle. And let's make it a smaller, something, for example, like that. We can close this if you want. And let's put some order. This is Ctrl G F2 curve mesh. Perfect. We have our curve with volume, with the volume of our cycle. Okay, but how I can do if I want, for example, to make this shape? That means that at the top, the radius is zero, and in the bottom, it's bigger. How I can do that? So to do that, what we can do is to connect a node that controls the radius, because we want to control the radius of all the curve. So let's find set radius, really important, curve, because we are working with curve, not with points. And let's put it here. Why we put it here and not here? Because this is a mesh after that, and before that is a curve. So always pay attention that the output has to be the same that the input. Curve, curve, perfect. Now we have a number here where we can control the radius of all the curve. Perfect. But we are still controlling everything like a simple block. I mean, I cannot change that. I want to make it different here and here, or in the middle. So how we can do that? Now is when we use the spline parameter. So let's find our star. Spline parameter. Perfect. And let's connect factor to radius. Okay, what's happening now? Something is happening. Let's analyze that. First of all, what does it mean, a spline? A spline basically is this the lines of a curve. This is a spline. And parameter is like the data from the beginning until the end, basically. Okay, perfect. And why have this shape? Because when we connect it to factor, remember, factor basically is from 0 to 1 in any node that have a factor. So 0 means that the radius here is 0 and the radius here is 1. You can see it because if we disconnect that, and we put, for example, one radius. This is the same that connecting here. Look, it doesn't change. So the top have a radius of one. Perfect. But what if I want this shape, but in the other side? How we do that? We have two options, for example. The first option is to put a node before that it's called reverse curve. A simple node that only do that. We connect it and it reverse. So we have the direction inverted. Perfect. However, we don't have too much control. What if I want to make this like something like that, for example? So to make that, let's delete this and I present another option more interesting. It's called here, we are going to put float curve, this one. And let's connect it here. So this is like a graphic where this point is this point and this point is this point. Okay. What does it mean this? That this point, look, have zero value. But if we increase this, we are increasing the radius of the bottom. And if we put it in the beginning, we have the same radius that this one. But if we want this one smaller, we can click here and now make it smaller. Also, we can click here and just drag. So we have the same effect, but we have more control. Why? Because we can create points and make different shapes. However, now it's not working. Why? Because we only have two points, this one and this one. Oh, you know that. Because if we click here, you can see we only have two cycles. One here and one here. If you want to create different shapes, we need to put more points here. How we do that? Really easy. Choose resample the curve. So let's find resample curve. And if we put it here, look, now it's updating because it has more points. Look, 
it have actually more cuts, as you can see. So if it have more cuts, that means that it can update more the shape. And we can play with this to make interesting shapes. If you want more resolution, just put more points. If you want less, less. And will be more polygon. Easy, right? So with this and this, we can control the shape of any curve with volume, with a mesh. Okay, but what's the difference between factor, length, and index? To understand it, I'm going to delete this, control X, and let's stay with this shape. This is really easy. When it's connected to factor, the top always have one of radius if you don't put anything here. It doesn't matter the length. Look, if I change the length, for example, picking here, always, the top always will have one. It doesn't change, as you can see, it doesn't change. However, if we connect it to length, it changes. That means that it doesn't have any more one. It depends of the length of, for example, look, if I change the Z, you can see that, for example, in some point, now I don't know which point is, we have one. But if we increase this, the radius increase too. That's the difference between factor and length. And what does it mean, index? Index means that for any point, any cut, remember, it's given a different radius based off the index. What does it mean that? That, for example, this is the first point, so this is zero. The second point, it's one of radius. The third point, it's two. The fourth is three. So with each point, it's increasing. If we put more points, it will increase. If we put less, we'll have less radius. For example, if we put two points, that is the minimum, that means this is one, so it's zero, and the second point, it's one of radius. But if we create three, that means that this one is one of radius, and this one, the number three, will be radius two. Radius, radius, this is point two, and this is point one. Sorry for my letters. You get it right. So with index, any cut have a different radius. So that's the main difference between factor, length, and index. But basically, all the time, almost all the time, we are going to use factor because it's easier to understand how it works. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So see you next video.